Greetings, Your Excellencies. My name is Ambassador Mary Ann Chinyere Obawike from Nigeria. I am the Global Social Secretary of Yesuka International and the Coordinator of Yesuka International Stroke National Youth Leadership Network Eboin Chapter. Today, we are celebrating the second anniversary of Yesuka International. And I would love to give a brief testimony on how this great organization has positively transformed my life. Well, I was once a very shy and timid person that many people wrote off in life that I can never have a good future or achieve anything with my empty skull. <laughs> because to them, I was just a dullard head that can never have anything good in it. Always the last in class when it comes to results. It was just one of my aunties, my mom's sister, that believed in me and told me never to give up that I have a good destiny. Well, to make the story short, after the continuous painful experience I was having from people, in December 2020, I went to church. After cleaning the church compound, I went and prayed to God. I told him, I know you did create me for people to write me off in life, but because you have a great purpose for me, I need you to do something good and great for me. Prove to people that I am a great person you created, and use this same brain people call empty score to make them know that I am a great person. Then, in February 2021, God just connected me to a wonderful director, Dr. Elizabeth Lucas. That was when my story began to change positively. Once I got connected to her, she began to transform me by mentoring me and bringing out the best in me. When I told her I can design flyers, I was like, Ma, I can design, I'm a graphic designer. And she said, in as much as I was still learning how to design, you know, and she asked me to be the one to design the July conference flyer. And I was like, oh my god, who even asked me to say that I can design? But I began to think of how to design the flyer. I told myself, I can do it, Maria, you can do it. Since you say you can design, believe in yourself that you can design it. And I started designing something good. After everything, I designed something a bit good and I gave it to her and she kept correcting me with love until the flyer became catching and wonderful. They said that everybody was like saying, wow, this flyer is so beautiful, wow, it's so unique, wow, wow, wow. Then, after the, after the flyer, she gave me the honor of moderating the conference and I was not like, ha! Huh. How can I do this one? Me that is a very shy person to the extent that I can't even talk in public or even where three or four people are. I'm not the one to moderate a great event. Oh my goodness. It was something I didn't even expect. But she connected me to Ambassador New Ame, who I was to moderate the conference with. He encouraged me and taught me how to be a board moderator. And during the conference, I was flowing very, very well. To the extent that no one will even notice that it was my first time of moderating a conference. But the training didn't end there. She kept on giving me words on what to do, and I was learning from her. And also, I was also learning how to be perfect in moderating a conference by watching Ambassador Dr. Aika Mahaji. The way she makes everyone feel relaxed and happy during each conference. Then this year, Dr. Elizabeth asked me to be the one that will form Yesuka International in a Boeing state as their leader. I told myself that I can do this. I have learned a lot from Yesuka International, and for a year plus, I have known Dr. Elizabeth. A lot of things has changed positively in my life. I have gotten the boldness and smartness to form an association in my school, which is still active today with the way I am leading them. I told myself I can do this, so I have to do it. I composed a nice write-up about Yesuka International and started telling people about it. I was gathering them 
I just couldn't say how exactly I did it, but today the group is a wonderful group. And we have been doing monthly seminar each month where we impart positive into the lives of people and also train them on how to become international speakers and good leaders. And today, I'm their leader, coordinating the activities of Yesika International Group in Ebony State and also at the same time leading the association I formed in my school where I think and bring out new ideas in many places. Designing great flyers, banners and the rest, creating wonderful videos for people and of which everyone always say, wow, so amazing, so incredible, brilliant, you are wonderful, you are so intelligent. <laughs> Using the same brain people call empty school to do all these things. And today, I am a proud graphic designer, video editor, an ambassador, international speaker and a great leader. Wow. All thanks to God and to Dr. Elizabeth Lucas. And I'll be carrying the activities of these two great groups. Learning from her that responsibility is like a heavy boss. Only the brave ones are strong enough to carry it. Why those that run away from carrying it are the weak and fearful ones, no matter how strong they may look in nature. Thank you all.